Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about water flood and water injection. We start with water flood. All right, so what is water flood? Water flood is a secondary oil recovery method. That's the first thing. And we do the water flood by injecting water through the injectors into the reservoir to, this is important, all right, this is important, to sweep or to displace or to push the oil to the producers to ultimately improve oil recovery, all right? So that's the goal of water flood. We inject water through the injectors into the reservoir to sweep, to displace, to push the oil to the producers for what? To ultimately improve oil recovery. Okay, so this is the schematic. We have the injector here, injecting water into the reservoir, and then the oil will be produced from the producers. And you can see in most cases, we inject water into the reservoir, especially if we have pattern water flood, right? So that's the first thing, but we can also have peripheral water flood. And in many cases for peripheral water flood, we inject water into the aquifer, right? Not into the reservoir. And we can still call this system, this program as water flood. To be specific, peripheral water flood. The goal is the same, to push oil to the producers to ultimately improve the oil recovery in this secondary oil recovery method. This is for water flood. And now we go to pressure maintenance. In pressure maintenance, we can inject many, many fluid. Actually, we have options to inject gas or water, but if we go to the basic, we can inject any kind of fluid, not only water. And the goal is to maintain reservoir pressure. Of course, later on, if we maintain reservoir pressure, we can improve the oil recovery. But if we want to be very, very basic, the first goal, the main goal, the focus is to maintain reservoir pressure, all right? This is the main goal, this is the focus. We can inject any kind of fluid, not only water, to the reservoir to maintain the reservoir pressure. To be quite practical, many, many companies inject either gas or water. And if we use water, if the injected fluid is water and the goal is to maintain the reservoir pressure, then the process is now called water injection, right? So now we have either water flood, whose main goal is to improve oil recovery, and we have water injection, whose main goal is to maintain the reservoir pressure, right? But the schematic is the same. We have injector here, we have producer there, we inject water into the reservoir to maintain the reservoir pressure. And finally, it will be impactful for the production, all right? Because by improving or maintaining the reservoir pressure, later on, we will have higher oil recovery, all right? But actually, many, many people think that if we are doing water injection, then it means we inject water not into the reservoir, but into the bottom water layer, like in this schematic. We have injector here, we have producer there, above we have reservoir, and down there we have bottom water layer. And many people think that if we are doing water injection, then we are actually injecting water into the bottom water, not into the reservoir. In many cases, in many examples, this is right, right? When companies doing the water injection, they inject water into the aquifer or into the bottom water. But actually, we can still perform pressure maintenance or perform water injection for pressure maintenance by injecting water into the reservoir. So what's the point then? What's the point of having a distinction between water flood and water injection? My point of view is they're actually the same right? Water flood is water injection. If you do water injection, then at the same time, you're doing water flood. 
because if we do water flood, of course, at the same time, we will maintain the pressure by injecting water. And at the same time, we will improve the sweep, all right? So if you do water flood, you will sweep the oil, you will maintain, you will improve the sweep. And of course, at the same time, you cannot escape. At the same time, you will maintain the reservoir pressure. And if you combine these two factors, then of course, you will get oil recovery enhancement. And let's say if you do pressure maintenance by injecting water, thus you have water injection. Yes, you are maintaining the reservoir pressure, but of course, of course, you will push oil to some degree to go to producers. And again, you will have oil recovery enhancement. All right, so, and either you are injecting water into the reservoir or injecting water into the bottom water, still you will have this two effects, pressure maintenance and sweep improvement, right? So that's the conclusion. Water flood is actually water injection and water injection is actually water flood. You cannot separate these two factors. You cannot isolate these two factors. They, they are going the same way, right? You maintain the pressure, you improve the sweep and you will get oil recovery enhancement. Right, so that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next water flood videos. All right, thank you.